guys welcome back to the channel i am christy lee also known as mama lee um i am back with another tokyo treat uh this time i made sure i have not opened it yet but i have cut the seal because i don't want to cut myself on camera so figured that would be super important this is actually um the january box so even though it's december and it's the holidays this will actually be the New Year's box. And I'm super excited to open this. I wanted to give a huge shout out to Mr. Ryan. He was supposed to actually be a guest on the video tonight, but um, unfortunately due to my own technical difficulties, I can't do that. But I do wanna say thank you, Ryan, for um, introducing me to Tokyo Treat to coaxing me and Mike into getting it because I've been nothing but pleased with the product. So thank you, Ryan. Um, and I will be sending you some goodies from this one as well. So keep an eye out for your mailbox, Mr. Ryan. Ooh, look at that. New year, new snacks. Tell me that's not amazing. Tokyo Treat, by the way, also um, with what they uh, provide for people, it it's just really good stuff. Uh, not only do you get a taste of another country, especially if you're like me and you've never really traveled, um, this is, is wonderful. Look, ooh, Explore Japan. They actually have a crossword puzzle this time. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. So they have the, okay, this is the map to let us know what we have and what we're doing. So um, that is super exciting. I actually remembered to bring my drink this time so luckily for me, I have something I can at least sip on just in case I get thirsty. It's not a whole lot, but it's something. So just in case uh, my throat gets a lull because you never know. Some of this stuff can be spicy for me because I'm super chicken. So let's start. What is this? It's brand butter cookie. That is adorable. Check that out with a little XOXO. I'm going to save this one for Ryan because it's adorable. So I'll set that off to the side. I'm not gonna open it. Um, he can let me know how it goes if he'd like. Um, the little pandas on there are absolutely adorable. Uh, it's a butter type cookie. It's in one piece, so I'm gonna leave it for him and he can let me know what he thinks. So let's move on. We're gonna go to this one. This one is New Year's Lucky Bubbly uh, Tiaki. So let's give it a go. The back as is the front. I have my dog. That's Miss Emmy Lou, and uh, she's a burp machine. So sorry about that. Anywho, if you hear burping, it's not me. It's my dog. So here we go. She hears the wrapper opening. She's like, "Yes, this is amazing." You're not getting any. Ooh, oh my, this looks like a macaroon almost. What? Quit pushing my, she's pushing my, she's rotating my chair. She wants snacks. What are you doing, you crazy dog? Here, you can come up here. You can come up next to me, but you can't have my snacks. Come on. She'll get up there on her own. All right, moving on. Sorry about that, guys. She gets, She's hungry over here. You don't even understand. Whoa, this is really cool. Can you see that? This is really cool. Look at this, it looks like a little fish. <laughs> it smells like heaven. It smells like, like chocolate and wafer and ugh. Oh, and it's so light and airy. I think, okay. Amy, quit pushing my chair. Ready? It's got a bit of a crunch to it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, ma'am. Okay, one, one more. Okay. I normally don't like to sit here and keep eating, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the only way to describe this is, have you ever gone to go get an ice cream cone and uh, 
the ice cream gets to the bottom of the cone part and you've already eaten everything and that last bit you're just waiting for that's this oh they this oh you have to get this for yourself to even realize what this this is so good it's very airy very it's not overly sweet it's perfect it's that's good like this is basically ice cream in a cone but not frozen it's so good like my I'm, my mouth is watering this is that's how good this is i'm when this video is done this is going in my belly oh man okay moving on let's go to hmm there's so much in here there's another little sweet candy which is one of the soda candies i actually ate this candy last video if you haven't already checked it out, please do. And this candy is actually very good. I'm, I already know that it's very good. The texture is great. The, it looks super sugary, but it's not overly sweet. I'm gonna save this one for Ryan because I think he would enjoy this. So I'm gonna put it over here. Mm -hmm. Miss Amy's trying to get up on the chair there. So, all right, moving on, next one. Mm -hmm. Some sort of like fish looking thing looks like an upside down fish almost not quite sure what this is gonna look in my little pamphlet here maybe it'll give me an answer mm, don't really see anything here for it so we're gonna open it and give it a try Emmy's here hi Amy Lou. don't use your teeth I got very fortunate and I have very good teeth so kind of smells sour it's a uh, dense it looks very airy but it's actually very dense okay it does it tastes like it smells very it's tart but it's not bad that's pretty good you want one she wants one Mm. That's, that's a loud chew. She um she likes it. I like it. It's not bad. Um it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Okay. But it's um you know, apparently Emmy Lou loves it. Do you like it, Emmy Lou? She loves it. So apparently Emmy Lou loves it. Alright, moving on. This is my stream mascot, by the way. If you actually watch Mama Mama Lee on uh, Facebook, my live streams, she's around. She She's like my other hand. All right, so we've got this. Um, I'm not sure quite what this is. Uh, let's see. There's a little guy with some chopsticks on the front. Um, oh, okay. This is, this is actually Takata crackers. Light and crunchy Japanese crackers are loved year after year in japan the bite-sized snacks are addictive and hard to stop munching that's true doesn't have a punch of flavor where it smacks you in the face but you could keep going like this is a bag that you would open and then you just don't stop i have to stop because i have a lot of food to go through here so we're gonna move on uh let's see i don't see this oh yep here it is this is salty turtle crackers Crackers that are popular choice for the end of year celebration in Japan. They're easily, they're easy to share, but you won't want to share. These salty bite-sized snacks look like mini turtle shells. All right. I thought I opened it. Did I not? All right, let's try. I thought I did. You want the wrapper? Of course you do. She'll eat whatever. Mm, okay. They do kind of look like little turtles. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dense, not very airy, but they have a very, almost like a meat type flavor. It's, it's very, it's not strange. It's good, but it's different and I like it. Kind of like a barbecue. 
like an open flame. You just cook some meat, chicken maybe. So what it tastes like, it's very good. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, <laughs> this would be good in a soup as well. Okay, putting that over here, moving on. All right, good taste. It's like a tiny little burger, almost like a snack kind of treat. Uh, a hamburger gummy uh, eating this year. We're looking forward to a nice burger that's cute and super sweet. I want one that's kind of sweet out of this. And I don't get to eat burgers very often, so it's very cute. The moment you open it, it's like somebody just punched you with fruit. Like, it's fruity. It's very fruity. Give it a go. You can't have none of this. She's looking at me like, yeah, I can. Oh, wow. Very firm, very dense, very sugary. Woo. Very sweet. Wow. Mm. This is going to take a while to chew. Woo. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't give you a taste of that, honey. That's pretty bad. Wow. Okay. That's really sweet. Like, wow. Okay. Here's another little sweet treat. It's like a long stick. It kind of looks like the stuff that we have here in America. It's, um, I can't remember what it's called. I don't remember what it's called here in America, but it looks very similar. It's got the little monsters on the front. It's mini monster fruity soft candy. I'm going to save it. I'm going to send it over here because I really want to try these stand by me Japan potato type chips. Um, these are pride potato, uh, seaweed salt chips. Seaweed. I mean, everybody on the back looks super happy. So this is so loud. I think this is like an actual, actual bag of chips. Oh my gosh, it is. Wow. Okay. This is going to be really cool. It's like an actual chip. Look at that. It smells like a chip too. Seaweed, it's a seaweed chip. Okay, hold on. Let your girl dig back in here. It tastes like, the texture is like a, a Lay's, like a Lay's chip. It's not super dense, it's very crisp. Um, it's not overly oily like a Lay's would be. It's, um, it's, it's, yes, that's a chip. She is hardcore breathing right now. Um, it really does taste like a Lay's chip, like you could go and, but it has, it has so much flavor to it. It's, it's good. This is very good. This is like a snack to sit down, watch a movie, um, hang out with some friends and maybe share. It's, it's really good, but it's not like a Lay's where you know where you can touch a Lay's and your fingers and stuff are overly greasy. You don't get that with this, which is really nice. And the flavor is just, it's not like salt. It, it's got stuff to it. This is really good. I'm impressed. Okay. This is like a little cow on it. This is ah cheese. Did you know the next year will be the lunar year of the ox? We wanted to celebrate it with some cheesy snacks. Mm. <laughs> I just burped. I'm so sorry. She's just looking at me like, yeah, it's cool. Just move on. So 
Uh, cheesy snacks, crunchy, bite-sized Japanese treats. Wow, okay. I don't have an editor too, so I can't edit out the verb. It's just there. But I'm gonna save these as well. So we have uh, these treats that we're gonna be sending to Ryan. Some cheesy snacks and two sweet snacks, which I think he'll really enjoy. So we're gonna save those for Mr. Ryan. I love the cheesy snacks. If I know that it's a cheesy snack, I know I'll eat it, the whole bag. But I'm gonna leave that for him. I don't wanna do it, because I always do that to him. All right. Ooh. This is a porky brown sugar. Kind of looks like a pretzel, if you look at the packaging. Okay, nice. I like that. Ooh. Ooh, oh, hello. It actually, whoa. Cinnamon Toast Crunch here in the States. This smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I know I just rubbed it all over my nose and I'm gonna put it in my mouth, so. She, okay, you thought I was drooling? Look at this thing. You want it? <laughs> oh, she wants it. <laughs> she needs it. Now we get to hear her crunch. This is really good. Um, it really is like cinnamon toast crunch. The sticks themselves, there's really nothing to them. There's no powdery, no nothing. I think it's the actual baked in stick itself. A stir stick in the United States for a co Okay, this is gonna be used for my coffee. <clears throat> That's a perfect, it is dry. Don't get me wrong. It definitely is dry, but put it, uh, put it in like a, a lot of Italians, they'll put the biscotti in the coffee. This would be perfect for that. It not only does it have flavor to add to the coffee, but I think with a little bit of moisture, it would be, oh, it would be amazing. I think this one wants me to eat it. Can do. Mm-hmm. I love that crunch that. Mm. All right, I'm saving this sweet stick. What the heck is this? Pudding, some sort of pudding something. It's squishy. Look in the package. Okay, I was gonna send this to Ryan. Sorry, Ryan, but I'm curious now. I need to know what's in here. Okay, so some of you know that I used to work for, oh, it's soft. My thumb just touched it, it's so soft. Oh my gosh. Okay, so some of you know that I used to work for um, a woman from Cambodia and a man from China or vice versa. And they used to bring me these jelly snacks and they never told me what they were. Oh, these feel like them, they're so soft, like a soft, squishy, oh. It's chewy. It's kind of, you can hear the to it. It's been so many years since I've had something like this. They used to bring me the best snacks from Cambodia and from China. And they used to make the best food for me. And they were my first job that I ever worked. And these are exactly like those treats. I tell my family about these treats. These, these taste just like them. They're so good. Like melt in your mouth, cold, not overly sweet, just a little bit of flavor. 
Mm. Oh, the memories that hit you in the face with this. It says pudding, but it's so much better than pudding. I don't like pudding. I actually won't eat pudding, but this, this is moving on. That just brings me way back. <laughs> All right. Ooh, who's been waiting for this one? Ryan, I'm sending this one to you, buddy. I'll send you some Pocky. I kept the other ones for myself. Willow, Mike, we all ate them. Emmy Lou over here. Dixie Doo. Ooh, wait, there's a little crumb at the top. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Like, you can't have this. This is a lot of chocolate. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I can't, though. <laughs> Pocky. If you have not had it, the Tokyo Treat Box, almost, almost, not every, will have it. Mm. This alone pays for every... Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like a pretzel dipped in the best chocolate ever. If you could think of, of a really airy, crispy pretzel that you'd want to eat because it has flavor, but it's also dipped in chocolate, the best kind. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. That Kit Kat's looking a little crazy. So we've got this. It's got the little dogs on it and whatnot. It's called um, Mochi. It's popular event at Japanese New Year's. Sharing it with your with you. It's salty, bite-sized, traditional, crunchy, fried mochi. Mochi? Mo I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Ooh. Kind of looks like um, Captain Crunch almost. Mmm, a lot of flavor. Very airy, very crunchy. It tastes like a bagged french fry. Not gonna lie, really good. You want one? You want one? She'll find it. She found it. Is this a peanut? Oh my gosh, you guys, look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so obviously they use peanuts. I just found a peanut. Just a straight up peanut in here hanging out. Yeah, wow. Okay. Okay, I found a straight up peanut. That was good. All right, so we've got these. It's got a little fishy on the front of it. Um, it's called C. Brennan and thought to be their good luck. We're excited to get the new year off to a good start with these fish-shaped Japanese crunchy bite-sized crackers. I really wanna try this one, but honestly, I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna put it in Willow's lunchbox tomorrow. So hopefully she'll like it. Um, I think she will. I'm not sure, but I kind of want her to bring it to school. I think she would get a kick out of it, so I'm going to save that one. I save a lot of stuff. It's, I know it's crazy, but I, I like other people to try it as well. What is this? Look at this. It's got Pikachu. It's got Charizard. It's got a little bear on it. It looks like a... Uh, Koala's March Pokemon cheese. It's cheesecake flavored. It's cheesecake flavored. 
I like cheesecake. And I like flavor. I'm opening it. Look at the little pool tab, his little Pokemon ball. Isn't that cute? You guys know how much I love cheesecake. You want Charlie? Wow, check that out. Hopefully you can see it. It looks like, I think this is what Ryan was talking about. Ryan was telling me that he knew there was gonna be something I love. Guys, and it's got the little koala looking, hopefully you can see that. Oh man. Right when you crunch into that, it, oh, it melts into your mouth. And there's all these different little kinds of Pokemon. I mean, this is good. And now the koala. <laughs> you see that? It's airy, but the whole inside is lined with like a cheesecake type of taste. It's so... We could be done right now. Mm-hmm. Let's sit here and eat these. She's not supposed to be awake, but she is. Come try one. Come here. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do it. It's so good. Here, this is for your lunchbox tomorrow. All right, so we're going to move on. This was really cute because it had the little Pokeball. And it is cheesecake flavored. It's, it's so much better than that. You have no idea. You'd have to try it for yourself, I'm telling you. It's that good. Here. If you want to take that. All right. Let's wash it down with this. It looks like a font, like a like a Fanta, Fanta that you would get. It is. It's peach. I don't drink soda, but I. It's really mad. Okay, apparently, I love. <laughs> I love peach. Peach is one of my favorites. It smells like peach. You want to smell it? No, she doesn't want to smell it. Oh my gosh. It smells like a real peach, like when you take a bite out of a peach. Okay. Oh, wow. It's not overpowering. I will say that. It's not very uh, carbonated. Not overly carbonated. It's very good. Apparently, Minute Maid makes it... Um, and it, you know, it's got the writing and everything that it has on it. It's actually really good. I'm very surprised. Uh, I can't actually read the label, so I don't know how much sugar is in it. But uh, it's very crisp. Uh, apparently, it's made with pets. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Emmy's like, run! No, it's actually really good. It smells like real peaches, which is hard to do by anybody that makes anything peach. That's really good. Okay, let's move on to the stick. I've been wanting to try this. It smells kind of like candy that you get in the United States. We have something similar to this. I can't remember what it's called. Mm-hmm. Kind of sour. If you guys saw my last video, you know I don't do well with sour. But um, it's very good. It's kind of, I can't remember what the rope candy is here in the United States, but it actually tastes a little crisper, not crisper, a little more put together. It's not just sour, punch you in the face. It has the sourness to it, but you taste the fruit 
before you taste the sour, which is really nice. Uh, very good. And the moment that I've been waiting for and that you may have possibly been waiting for, the Kit Kats. Most of you know that I'm a huge fan of Kit Kats. Um, I have apparently loved every single one of them except for the sparkling wine one. I was not a fan of that one. I thought that one was actually gross. Um, and I love Kit Kat and I love Tokyo Treat, but that one was just not my, my cup of tea. This, this actually is more of a paper type of bag this time, which I've never experienced with them before. So I'm expecting more of like a, a pastry type of Kit Kat because a lot of the times in the plastic, it's more of a chocolatey. So I'm expecting a little more of a pastry type with the type of, of uh, plastic that they, not plastic, but material that they put in. It's more papery, almost like a brown paper bag. So maybe I'm wrong because the actual Kit Kat itself comes in a very plasticky, uh, lumen-y type thing. So maybe it is like a regular Kit Kat. It does have like a little bear creature on the front of it though, which is actually very cute. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. So you can't have one, you're a dog. Ooh, it's white. Almost like the white chocolate ones that they do. It smells really good, not overly sweet. Mmm, talk about redemption. I don't know what this is. Kit Kat. Mmm. Hot spring dumpling. I got, okay guys, I got goosebumps. That's how good this is. Melt in your mouth kind of Kit Kat. Oh. <laughs> These tasty Kit Kats could only be picked up in hot spring resorts until this year. But now we're bringing them to you. The cream mixed with azuku red bean paste is sandwiched between crispy wafers and wrapped in manju, which is steamed dumpling, steamed dumpling flavored chocolate. I probably said a couple of those words wrong, but Mm. That is a redemption Kit Kat like no other. Mm. Not gonna lie, the last Kit Kat I was a little disappointed in, the sparkling wine one. This one kicks that one in the face. This is, um, this is, look at my finger. I have, I don't lick my fingers, okay? I'm licking my fingers, that is good. Mm. Don't look at my fingers, you dirty. <laughs> That's good. I don't know if they heard us cry about the sparkling Kit Kats, but this, my friends, this is delicious. I'm going to save Kate okay, Ryan. I sent Ryan a couple of those and they were pretty gross. So I'm going to send three of them with my licked fingers <laughs> just for you. Save those for you, dear. But guys, this is my last Tokyo treat for a little while because um, I've got big plans in the future and Tokyo treat will be included eventually. We will get there. But if you haven't already, if you've missed the last three boxes that I've done, they only get better. You really can't go wrong. You seriously can't go wrong. If you wanna try Tokyo treat, hashtag Tokyo treat, go to their website, make sure that it's got the label, it's got everything and try it, try it for yourself. They have multiple different options when it comes to what you can buy, what you can pay for, or even gifted, try it, it's worth it. Um, if you've already been to the country and you missed the snacks, have some. If you're like me and you don't, I literally don't travel, I don't, I don't go anywhere. And this for me is like a vacation in a box. 
Yes, I do a quick video for you guys where I kind of just describe it to you barely. I kind of experience it with you, but trying this, Amy Lou apparently experiences it with you. If you try this on your own, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's out of this world. It's completely different. It's something new. It's, it's really, really good. Sorry. I have to push her away because she's doing the lick thing and okay. Anyway, give it a go. Try it yourself. Tokyo treat is totally worth it. Bye guys. Bye for now. See you on the next one. Don't forget, I've got the friends box coming. I have two more friends box coming. Um, I'll open them for you just like I do this one. So you can kind of see what you get out of that as well. If you're like me and you love the the friends reruns that they play, if you got to watch the originals, if you just happen to be an uber fan of the cast and the crew and the actual show itself, that's also another one that's worth the watch and worth the price if you ask me, because you get tons of stuff just like you do with Tokyo Treat. So I will catch you guys on that stream, on that video for the friends box. And again, if you haven't checked it out, please do Tokyo Treat. Go find them, go try it. You won't be disappointed.